Hey, uh, my name is Mark Trevino, I'm from TV1. Just want to show you uh, this C2 and Corio Master Wall. What we're showing here is uh, multi-window experiences. And we do this across a number of products and it's a sort of key strategy of ours to be able to share uh, different media or to be able to collaborate uh, in different ways. So I'm going to show you across a number of products and a number of verticals. I'm going to start off with the C2 750. And this is a really cost-effective entry point scaler but it's still really, really powerful. So behind me, you can see we're in a medical or healthcare uh, type application. We've got uh, our MRI, MRI scan, which we've scaled and added a border. And above, we've got our X-ray as well. And you notice we can do cool little things like in here, you might not be able to see it on the video, but here we've got transparency coming through. So as well as being able to scale, I, I can uh, add borders. I can also add tra transparency and key. So that's the first way we might collaborate. Um, second way is in a uh, corporate environment. Yeah, so here we've got uh, the uh, cool guy here standing by his video wall, maybe doing a presentation. Beside him we've got the presentation. So you can see we've got the two windows next to each other. They're overlapping and we've got borders around them. They could also be sat side by side. Um, we can control this unit uh, using uh, presets uh, and button control. It's really small. The 1T C2750 is under half uh, rack unit. Uh, and like I say, it's really cost effective. Let's go up the scale a little bit. Well, let's look at the C2 2855. This is a slightly larger unit, slightly higher up the price range, but it adds a whole bunch of uh, functionality. Before I show you that extra functionality, I'll just show you what the sort of thing we're used for. You know, this is a medical environment, and here we're taking in uh, this scan, and it's a weird resolution, and we're rescaling it. Uh, for a standard 1080p monitor. We get this an awful lot. I'll give you an example. You know, we, sometimes we get strange resolution like 1650 by 1050 and we need to put it out on a, a 720p screen. That's the sort of this thing that this, this unit excels at. But I'm adding a little bit extra value as well. On the top, I'm adding a logo. I'm branding up uh, this, this as well. So I'm adding that extra little value, bit of value. So we're talking here uh, high quality scaling low latency and on top of that adding a logo to add value that's how we might look like we might use this in a more of a collaborative uh, way so this is still the c2 2855 here we're in a rental and staging environment so we've got a couple of fashion shows maybe these are coming over an sdi feed hdmi feed or maybe you know composite video s video or, or vga um, and i'm adding a picture in picture and then below I, i'm adding a logo and can you see We've added like a cool little border on it to make it look like a Polaroid. So uh, we're just kind of adding that little extra. And also the, the logo has got an alpha channel that cuts, cuts right through as well. And this is all from one unit, the 2855. And then, uh, you know, maybe in a corporate uh, area. Yeah, I know this is still a fashion material. But imagine if this was a PowerPoint or a video conference. And over the top, we're adding other information here as well. Moving up the range a little bit more, uh, the One RU C2 6104 is a really powerful unit. Um, it, we can cascade these together, but essentially we, we have four scalers uh, in, a, in a box, four scalers, four keyers, four borders in, in a single box. So we can now do something more. So here I've got, I'm back in the medical area, but I'm now showing four things. And you notice in the background the orange loop, um, that could be another unit plugged in. So we could. Instead of having a background, I could loop all these units together to make loads of uh, windows. So let's just go through a few more applications here. So this is corporate. So because I've got the four scalers, I can obviously now do four things. Yeah, so um, I could switch between these. And with my 50 presets I have, um, I could be switching between these. Or you could be using your uh, controller. You know, you could use a controller like I'm using here, the 1T. CL322, or uh, we also have plugins for AMX and Prestron uh, as well. So uh, we wanted to sort of do something a little bit different. So this one's got a transition going out and a transition coming in. Uh, and we've got uh, orange background, a couple of windows with labels. Um, the borders are transparent. And then this lady, this she's keyed in. So that's a, a Luma key that I've keyed her in but it could equally have been a, a chroma key as well. So it's, it's a great little unit, 
Uh, we often use for multiple windows, but we're also used for creative things like this. And I've, I've used this unit in uh, things like simple flight simulators, for example, or for presentation systems. And then if I want to use it in a straight multi-window type way, of course I can put the four windows up. Now, everything I've done so far, I've been showing the hero unit in the middle and playing stills uh, either side. I've actually been controlling this all uh, going through a Choreo Master, and Choreo Master comes in three flavours, a Micro, Mini, and a, and a 4RU Master. Uh, this is going through a Choreo Master, uh, uh, Choreo Master Mini. So I've got a few presets for this as well, and you can see, first of all, the eye-catching transitions, but you'll now see more windows. So uh, on the Choreo Master family, we can go up to 36 windows uh, if we need to. So on the left there, you can see the units and the cards, and this is a command and control type application where we want lots of windows. Um, some of them are in lower quality than others, uh, depending on what we're doing. So if they're small windows, I might choose a lower quality. Uh, if it was full screen 4K, 60 for example, I might use a higher quality, of course. So once again, you see the really nice eye-catching transitions. Um, this time it's staging, so I've got repeat screens either side, and in the center, uh, I've got the uh, main uh, catwalk, and then I've got an insert of the backup catwalk, and then we've added a simple graphic over the top to, to brand. So, a uh, really effective way of uh, extending out uh, a, a live event. And of course, we also use get used for collaboration. So this is corporate collaboration, so we've got our PowerPoints, uh, and we've got uh, a couple of PowerPoints going uh, on a split screen, and then on the left we might have our video conference. Um, what's great about it is if you're using a Quarry Master Micro, for example, you've got front button control, button control um, so you can change the, change the presets really easily. Uh, the last one I want to show you is, is retail, and it's a new area for us. Um, an area we've not really seen the Quarry Master in a uh, huge amount, but so we've had great success in the last year, so we, we, we're really proud to, to shout out about it. And here, um, I've got uh, my, my retail outlook, and with video walls, it's very easy to do a simple two by two, uh, just whack a video on top. What people want is visual interest. They want you to, the video wall to grab them and to grab the material. And it's the true with any of these multi-window systems. Um, so that's the family uh, we've looked at. We've looked at the C212750. Uh, we've looked at the C22855, the 6104, and the Choreo Master. We're going to look at the IP capability of uh, Choreo Master. So this is Choreo Master Micro. This is uh, half RU, uh, half width one RU Choreo Master. Um, and we compare this up with a IP decode card uh, in the rear. It's a great little card because we can, as well as uh, decoding IP streams, we can also play uh, from USB media or from internal. Uh, and we can play uh, clips uh, up to 4K and we can play stills up to 8K. And the great thing is we can make a playlist, a little bit like a carousel, and I can jump between either IP feeds or clips or stills and mix and match. Um, at this stand, we've introduced the Media Encoder 100. Um, this is a H.264 encoding device, HDMI in, uh, audio in, um, and then uh, we come out o over the network. This plugs straight into here. Uh, of course, we're completely agnostic with uh, in encoders. The great thing about the Media Encoder 100, if I plug this on the same network, is automatically recognized. So here I've got my, my windows, and if I open this one here, this is how easy it is to add a, add a stream. So let's clear the windows above. And then what we'll do is we'll just drag an IP stream in. That's my IP stream. If I maybe want to drag uh, some some clips, drag that, and I can mix and match uh, stills as, as I go through. So uh, once again, loads of clips on our, our own YouTube site, TV1-AV. Loads of information now on our website. That's the Choreo Master Micro and the Magenta Encoder 100.